Okay, so Alma, how long ago did you graduate the program? Do you remember? Oh, I'm not sure. I think it was in October, I guess, early October, maybe. Okay, October, November, December, January, February, March. So maybe like five months ago. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. And um, yeah, you recently just like reached out to me and said, hey, Chase, things are, things are going great. And I kind of want to talk about it. And of course, I'm like, hell yeah. Alma, just like, I don't really have any specific questions, but do you, like, what are some of the big things that's been going on in your life recently? And in terms of um, after the program, what, what, how have you continued to kind of work on this and how, what does your life look like now? Mm. Yeah. So I, started my new job quite soon after I, I graduated from the program. It's, uh, it's a job with psychiatric uh, assessments. So I am a psychologist and I've been working in research for many years. So with no, no contact with, with patients and one main reason why I started the, the program was that I really wanted to go back to work with, with patients. So after I started the job, I've, well, it's, it's been much, it's been, it's been um, lots of new stuff all the time and really fun and lots of, of talking. Um, so I really used a lot what what we learned in the in the program. Awesome, Emma. A question came to mind, and it's uh, was the transition into your new job working with patients um, with a stutter? Was it what you expected? Or was it unexpected? Oh gosh, it feels like it worked. And that's <laughs> that's kind of what what matters. Um, I think I I just felt like I had to jump in into it and, and see what happened. Mm. What 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 makes you feel that that sense of feeling of it worked? Like, can you describe how you came to that conclusion? Mm, yeah. Um, I guess I get that from what happens with with the 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 patients that. When I meet them and when I, I talk with them, um, we can connect and I can do what I can to understand them and help, help them. And for me, that's, that's working. Yeah, because I, rem I, rem I remember there is a fear when we were working together of the stuttering getting in the way of like, maybe they may judge you of like, oh, this person has a stutter, this person isn't dealing with something in their life or they don't know how to deal with something in their life, what would make them capable of helping me? But also like just being a distraction and like putting the focus on this and their brain going off their own problems onto this and not, yeah, there's, there's a few fears with that. Um, would you say any of those fears have come true or what, what has happened with those fears? Oh yeah, that, that's a, a really good, good, good question. Uh, because I feel that that's, 
those fears they they have nothing to to do with re, re, reality um i find that many patients actually seem to you know grow a bit just from uh hearing me say that i stutter and and they're like yeah that that's fine and if we get this instant connection and it feels like sometimes that actually helps yeah because also i i think that they they come to our unit and there are doctors and psychologists who will uh, assess their mental health and that's a big thing and um, i think a lot a lot of, of of them are worried or scared and then there's me and i'm very human oh wow i didn't think of it like that like it's kind of like they've they've been in a in in a journey in a route or in a journey of maybe you you didn't say this but like maybe more emotionless like statistics is is that it like you like they're di- diagnosing them but not like showing any i mean care is wrong or but i i i feel like i i get what you're saying and then they get to you and they realize that this is another human being helping another human being and i understand what that feels like because i've gone to the doctors and stuff and when they're just so perfect and they're like what's this what's this what's this and they're like making they're making statements and it just feels there's a there's a disconnect and maybe i'm not really being heard as much and i don't really feel that safe it's just very um what's that word like i i don't i don't know that word but i i know exactly what you're saying like this stuff the stutter can really amplify your humanness and just with anybody we open up a lot more to the pe- to the people we feel are like us and see another human in front of you with with imperfections is like that gives me the opportunity the, the the opportunity and space to also show everything about me yeah i'm just curious to know is is there like a mindset that you refer back to or is there a way that the way you see things have changed that happened inside the program that on a day-to-day basis you you kind of refer back to or you just remember or it's just a part of your life yeah um good question i think i think most of it is just that we had so much experience in the in the program with practicing and speaking and meeting people and connecting and i think that is sort of ingrained now in a in a very very nice way in a very useful way yeah no yeah i i feel that's that that's that's awesome that that interacting connecting just feels more ingrained because as woo woo and as spiritual as it sounds i still believe this is the truth and it's like overcoming stuttering is about like feeling safe to express yourself authentically because it leads you to connection it it leads you to feeling connected to the other person you're speaking to when you are able to express yourself truly 
And it's only when we feel disconnected that we begin to stutter and have a lot of pain when we stutter. Not so much because of stutter, but because the stutter is amplifying in our mind the disconnection that is there. And um, that building that connection and being able to be vulnerable and show up authentically, even when you're scared, is um, like the such a massive thing to overcome stuttering. So I'm glad that that connection um, has kind of stuck with you. Yes. And also, I mean, everything we learned in the, in the program and, and things you say, and I've written them down, down in my little notebook. And it's, it's helped so much on the way to actually get out there and, and make these good experiences. I still remember our first consultation call. It just felt like what I was saying and how we're going to work on this is was like exactly aligned with your direction in life and what you wanted to hear, how you wanted to overcome your, your stutter. And uh, yeah, I still remember that, that feeling that that brought me. So I, I always just love connecting with people and help and helping people that want deep connections and want to just go back to their authentic self, not learn a new speaking style, not um, create all these techniques, but just like feel a self-trust inside of yourself and go back to the inner confidence that you're, you are enough and connect with other people from that place. And uh, yeah, just amazing. The working with you was amazing and on this call with you is amazing and you're just an amazing person. Thanks. And you, you too. I mean, this has, has been so awesome, all of it. And I'm, I'm so very happy and, and, and grateful for, for this program and all, all you have done.